I'm like, come to, and I'm like, all right, what's, what's wrong? And uh, I couldn't feel my legs. I couldn't feel anything from my waist down. And from when, you know, I was sitting there trying to feel my legs, like I was hitting myself in the legs, and I'm like, what is wrong? Am I paralyzed right now? And everybody comes running over. They're like, you're all right, you're all right. And uh, I freak. From there on, I was freaking out. I was like, I'm, I'm done. Like, I'm never going to walk again. This is it. thing was they didn't see anything wrong with my body and so they, they they can't give you anything if they don't see if anything's wrong with your body like they could just be like this guy's faking it but so I had no pain meds nothing I was in a bunch of pain all the way to the hospital and once they took me through the x-ray machine I come out and they put all the neck brace on me the back brace and they're like don't move they hook you up to the morphine and everything and it's kind of all just a blur from there and I wake up from surgery and uh, it, it was a long recovery. I, I ended up going to, through surgery for 12 hours and um, was a week, a week in the hospital where I was just out of it. I had a button where I was in, I'd feel pain, I'd push the button, go back to sleep. When I got home and got released after a month, I had this walking thing. I'd have to get up every morning and grab it to get up. And uh, one day I'm like, you know what, screw this. I don't need this thing. So. Um, I threw that thing on the ground, I'm like, I'm walking out of my room right now. So I walked out and since then I haven't looked back. Came back from my back, I was still young, and the next three years, I don't think I put 100% into it. I think uh, I was there every day, I was doing what I was supposed to do, but I didn't do the extra stuff. I didn't put in the extra time or do the extra laps, all that stuff that I should have done, but I was young and I wasn't thinking. And so once I, I stepped away, it took me about a year to realize, I'm like, gosh, like, I. I didn't do all that stuff. Like, I could have been so much better. I could have been stronger. Like all these mountain bike rides that I would go on, I hated. Like, I'm like, why would I hate that? Like that, that stuff was fun. You have to enjoy that stuff and know that you're getting stronger at the time. And I never processed that at the time. So um, I thought so much about all that when I was stepped away from when I stepped away from dirt bikes. So when I came back, um, I'm, I'm more prepared. I'm more ready. I want to be there every day. Like training is nothing. Mountain biking is all. I love doing all this because it's not going to last forever, and you have to enjoy it. see it still there's just a lot of people crash and get hurt and they miss a season or miss half a season and um, that's I was on that road where it was up I'd get a result and then hurt back on the sideline I was on a couch more than I was on a dirt bike for three years so um, I think that's put me to where I am today is uh, that road made me stronger and made me realize that I could you know I deserve to be up front now. I've went through the crap, went through all the BS and all the injuries, and now it's my time to shine. And uh, no, I think this 2016 and beyond is going to be is going to be amazing.